Welcome back to Mobile Love Alternative. And last time, it might have ended up being a short episode. Might have been. Or if, I don't know, if this is going to end in the next 20 minutes, I might just cut my voice off right here and see where we go. I I have no idea how much is left. I can't, I can't imagine what's left to do. What do we have left to do? Oh, we have to do the causality conductor stuff, don't we? We still have to figure out what the fuck's going on there. Okay, well, last time, shit happened. Everyone's dead. Everyone's dead. Five more minutes. So we. Where are we? Huh? Hmm. Okay. Yokohama base. Hi. We made it. In the outside, the ship is being towed to the dock. We can't get out of the boat. Ah, sure. There are a lot of people coming to the dock. What? A crowd of maintenance personnel? It's not just a crew. It's a lot of people coming to the dock. God. God, that sounds like torture. Oh my goodness, I, I wouldn't want to be. I would never want to be a hero. That just sounds like a pain in the neck. I mean, outside of you know the thing you actually did to become a hero, the the glory. I don't give a fuck about glory. <laughs> fuck that shit. Huh? Oh, that's great. Don't we still have a war to fight, though? I see. They've all gathered here, just for us. <sighs> Personally, I'm still amazed we made it out of that huge explosion alive. Well, I'm more surprised that there was an exit. I... I thought that the exit route was to enter a different shaft of the hive and... then try to make our way out from there in the hope that, I guess... How it was framed made it seem like we just sort of ejected from it and immediately got out of the hive, but okay. Man, I'm such a wimp. I passed out right when it happened. All right, work, Yusumi. You piloted us uh, all the way back here, then. Oh, yeah, I can imagine it being exhausting for anyone. Oh, I see. Hi. <sighs> This escape shuttle's designed to seat ten passengers, and five of those seats were supposed to be occupied. Well, five more. But right now, just me, Kasumi, and Tamika down in the zero zero uh, unit control block. Oh, how did we get so much power back, anyways? I thought the problem. I assume Tamika did something, but I thought she did something. She obviously did something, but. How did we get so much power back so quickly? It was like immediate. It was really weird. This is a cross I have to bear now. I'm the one who's, uh, who wants to save this world and fix the other timelines. I can't avert my eyes from the repercussions. <sighs> I won't let this stop me. You gave all your lives to make this future a reality. And I'm not gonna let it go to waste, I swear it. <sighs> Manly tears. <laughs> Christ, damn it. Not now. Not in front of all those people. So. What? Does that mean I'm not allowed to have any emotions of my own anymore? Is that it? そうだ。極端に言えばその通りだ。ええ。心は自由であってもよいと思う。だがその立ち振る舞いや発言は常に周囲への影響を考慮すべきであろう。それがそなたのように天部の才を与えられし者に課せられた宿命だ。<笑>
I still don't entirely agree with that. And I especially don't think how Maya was approaching it was remotely a good idea at that time. Especially not in Taku's condition at that. And those people out there believed in us, and they had faith that we'd uh, see mankind to victory, and waited patiently for our return. I can't go out there and let them see me bawling my eyes out. If I'm going to cry, I need to make sure they're tears of joy. Everyone's going to be smiling and thanking me. I have to be able to smile back at them. Those girls gave their lives to ensure my survival. The least I can do is smile in their place. <sighs> that's, that's just the way it should be, right? <laughs> Last rep. Makoto. I mean, I... Dama. I, uh... You guys would have wanted, right? Hi. Hmm? Sumi? Right. Right. You could tell what everyone was thinking, right? Hi. I am so sorry. You had to keep all that pain to yourself because I was too weak to handle it. Thank you, Kasumi. Thank you. It doesn't have to be anyone's fault. It doesn't have to be someone's fault that something bad happened. Kasumi. Yeah, I know. That's why they never showed me what was really going on. Because they knew I was having trouble focusing on the mission. Even when humanity's future was on the line. みんなさん頑張れたんですよ。うん。あなたがそういう人だからこそ皆さんは人類のために自分がやれることを精一杯やったんです。人類を救うために一緒に戦ってきた仲間を生き残らせるために。そして一人で苦しみ抜いたあな
What are you talking about? I mean, there was never any guarantee she'd survive, but that doesn't mean there wasn't a chance. Right? What? What? Wait, wait, say what? I do not understand. Why the hell would that matter? I mean, what does the reactor have to do with Sumika? Huh? I mean, are you saying she was the one? Huh? What? The, the reason her maintenance bed was in the brain room was... So what happens after 72 hours? Huh. That explains so much. No wonder since I pulled out all the stops to make operation. Cherry Blossom happened so quickly. Oh, that's why I couldn't be just a bit longer. Wait, 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 wait. So you're saying that she couldn't have her ODL redone any... More so, she only had 72 out. But she went into. Was her safe mode like deactivated? So even if she pushed herself to her absolute limits, then. Huh. Well. Because. Previously. I mean, it's not like she was doing less intensive stuff. She doesn't have control if it degrades or not. It's not like she can just will it to be more effective or. Oh, okay. I'm not... I'm, I'm sort of getting what they're getting at here, but... We had to finish the fight while the Zero Zero unit was still functional. Why didn't anyone tell me? Also, wasn't Yuka sensei the one who told us to stop the reactor? I thought, would she do that? If she knew what would happen to Samika? Hmm?反応炉を完全に壊すように強く求めました。それでも光月博士は後で使えるように一時的に止める決定をしたんです。結果的に反応炉は2発のS11で壊されました。おかしくありませんか?もちろん。たった2発のS11で反応炉を止めてしまうほ
プロジェクションの影響だと思います<笑>あの時住みかさんは浄化処理を2度も中断して無理に起きたんです Right, Sumika was suffering from abnormal ODL degradation. At the time, it had fallen unconscious. Are you saying that she just took control of Lieutenant Heisei's mind? I don't think anyone's been able to do that. Seems a bit. If Sumika's ability is high, she can't control her own actions. Oh, right. ImageOfTitleKotomaDekitanoaHayaseTuiMokanyaSuiSokogamotomotaAttakaradesProjectionHauketeGasoretoishikishinakerebaUkandewakieruishunmoshikotokubetsudekimasen.Deceptorinar
I mean, it's easy enough to say. Beta technology, I guess. So Lieutenant High says a little epiphany back there. It's actually just the truth, which Samika had projected into her mind. Which means superordinate meant that in the literal sense. What did he say exactly? Oh, she, oh my goodness, was she just being, she wasn't being acknowledged as a life form, but as a, as another vessel of the beta? Maybe? Oh my. Oh my. It wasn't trying to attack us, it was trying to exchange information with Samika. Hmm? <laughs> what, did it fall in love with me too? <laughs> okay, there's a side game for you. Let's have a spin-off. Taku and the primary objective. Getting it on, yeah, I think. <laughs> okay, so basically, the Tinted Heisei was right on the money. We simply had not realized that the reactor functioned like a computer. Which means, when Yuko Sensei said her theory was just close, it was probably because she didn't want to reveal the whole truth about some... Actually, no. That was in front of everyone else, wasn't it? She never would have let that slip regardless. <laughs> oh, maybe she was withholding information, but I know how she thinks. I didn't see your one-on-one, -on -one, uh, I didn't see your one-on-one -on -one depressor for the truth. And I have no one to blame but myself for that. So, why didn't Samika realize what she was doing? Ryan, before she told you who sensei destroyed the reactor, you mean? I see. Well, that's a relief. At least she didn't have to suffer in silence that knowledge for very long. But why then? What triggered the realization? I mean, that wasn't the only time she woke up after suddenly losing consciousness. The same thing happened after Operation 21st. Wait, what name? Huh? Huh? Uh, can I cringe? Just by making love to her. I mean... I, 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 I get it what it's saying, but at the same time it's like... Did you really need to write it like that? <laughs> what fucking ever. It feels like it's trying to force plot relevance on it. I think it had enough plot relevance in terms of the character proof. Whatever. Okay, whatever. Then that must be why she lost consciousness afterwards. <sighs> Samika. All this time, you're acting as a spy for the Bena. And you didn't even know it. I can't even imagine how horrible that realization must have felt. Shit, what was the... There's 100% definitely a thingamabum. A thingamabum, the dream that she talked about. How did that go? I don't remember how that... I, I'm really not remembering how that went. I don't remember how that went in the slightest. I'm pretty sure it was pretty important, though. I remember saying, yeah, that's gotta be foreshadowing. Of something. Was, I think I remember two things showing up, and... If I went back to it, I would not be surprised if there was something that resembled uh, that primary objective. And uh, if, you, if you took it in a, even a metaphorical sense, it could be just the disclosing of information, that dream being. No, 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 no. No, 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 that was the dream when she wasn't even connected. Oh, fuck. I, 
I sort of want to go back and look at what that was, but I don't know if I will. Uh, I tend not to. I don't remember. See if they bring it up again. Uh, oh, oh uh, da, da, da. he must be quite prepared uh, to die going into this. Why he wanted to put an end to this war all by yourself. Your only means of survival required to send our intel to the monsters that have defiled you. <sighs> hmm. You mean there's more to it? Wait, is she reading my thoughts? I thought she could only see images. I'm like, can they decide how this thing is supposed to work? I swear, just random little things are bothering me now. I don't know. Hi. Well, I don't think anything's gonna surprise me at this point. Let's hear it. Yeah, true enough. Mm -hmm. Then why did he tell me there was more to it? I mean, you could have easily just let me say my piece and that would have been the end of it, right? Wait, why do I feel like I've had this conversation before? I'm getting serious deja vu. No, this is, this is what happened with Samika. What do you mean? Hmm? No, that's not it. It's because my fight in this world isn't over yet. As long as there's still hives left, and the, uh, the war of the beta is not over. Not to mention, I haven't even started to search for whatever it is that made me a causality conductor. And until I can just get rid of that, the timeline's just gonna keep resetting every time I die. That's why I need to know every detail about what I've done here. And I need to retain as much of this as possible in case I ever end up having to do it all over again. I don't want to make Samika and the others suffer any more than they already have to. I... I know they are shouldering all the pain in my stead. I know I've been an oblivious, self-satisfied idiot. But I need to face that truth head on, no matter how unpleasant it might be. Otherwise, I'll never be able to move forward. Well, partially because you're playing it up to be this big thing and... <laughs> and asking me not to ask anymore. Because... I love these people. And I just... And I don't just mean my friends. That includes the people I hardly know. And those I've never even met. They're all human beings. They're all alive and that's more than good enough for me. Remember how... Remember what the primary objective said? About how carbon-based life doesn't exist anywhere in the universe. To me, that just served as a sobering reminder. Of what a miracle that it is that we're here. It made me realize just how terrible it is to be so utterly blind to the meaning and value of this gift. And I'm not just talking about the beta here. Of course. It's a problem for a lot of human beings, too. And I'm no exception. After all, I used to be in that camp, too. That was a fun camp. That was a very fun camp to be in. <sighs> so that's the big reason I want to know. But I also have a more personal reason. No matter what world she's in, and no matter what form she might take, Hagami Samika will always be the woman I love. Which is why I have to. Hmm. What? She wanted to sacrifice herself to end the beta or some shit so I didn't have to fight this war anymore. Is that what it is about? She, did she feel bad about uh getting me more and more involved in this war on her sake? Huh? Okay, what about it? 
自分のせいで不幸になった人たちが幸せになることを願っていました。Okay. その人たちにできる限りのことをしたいと望んでいました。You mean the people she'd hurt because of the information she leaked to the Baina? Hmm? Wait. Wait, what? Huh. <sighs> What? No. You can't mean. So this. Anato Inga do Tai is dead. No. Sumika san da tan des. What? I. That's. Takara mo kono sekai wa. あなたを起点にループすることはありません、What? そしてあなたが望んだようにこの世界から関わった世界はすべて再構築されます OK so much for any thoughts about potential paradoxes OK 原因の消滅によって結果も消滅しますから Oh you mean the whole thing about saving this world too right? That in that's included in the effects right? Right? How, how could it possibly end like this? How could Sumika be the one who made me into causality, Conductor? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, the Yuko. The Yuko one. No, I just inherit those from my other selves in different branches of the timeline. But that's impossible. I I never do it with Yuka Sensei. それは今のあなたが持っている感覚です。事実は変わりません。Are you looking down on me now? Oh my goodness, you did it with Yuka Sensei. Wow, wow. Shit, really though. Okay. Tonight. Shit, 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 so... Uh, okay. Uh, then that must be why I was crying when I first woke up in this loop. It also explained why I felt disconcerted by the way those guys treated me like a stranger at first. And why I felt so depressed when I was trying to convince Yuka Sensei to let me stay. Almost like I just lost a loved one. Okay, I don't remember that at all. I mean, I remember him being like, like... Come on, don't do shit. I don't remember it being like that, though. Okay, well, okay. After all this time, it finally makes sense. I really did. Fall in love. With all of them except Makoto, never Makoto. We can all agree the Makoto one is completely an imaginary scenario that Taku is just filling in his head with, and it can't be done in any situation. Even if you do it, it's just all part of an imagination, and he wakes up at the end, and he's like, Oh, shit. I thought I I and she just he just like looks over to um let's assume Maya Maya's number two uh and it's just like hey Maya like in the same bed because of course they're in the same bed um and because it's gonna be Maya's right it's like I just had this weird dream about getting with the Kodo and she's like ha 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 oh that's funny <laughs> with all of them oh well vaguely. <laughs> Hmm. Ha! <laughs> really? Uh... Uh, okay? Her subconscious mind... Hmm. シリンダーのリーディングで一番初めに理解できた思念です。その思念が洪水のように激しく渦巻いていました。脳髄にされて以来ずっと全ての感覚が閉ざされた闇の中で、スミカさんは 
その思いだけで生きていたんです目の前でこの世界のあなたを殺されたすみかさんはずっとそれだけを思い続けていたんですすみか2発の G 弾が横浜ハイブで爆発した時は、huh? ?You mean during Operation Lucifer, you mean? 爆発で発生した高重力超積力の複合作用と反応炉の共鳴で時空間に深く鋭い歪みが発生しましたはあ、その時ほんの一瞬ですが比較的分岐が近い世界との道がつながってしまったんです And that was my world? そこに反応炉によって変換増幅されたスミカさんの思念が作用した結果あなたたちが大量の G 元素の消失と引き換えにこの世界に連れてこられたんですはあはあこれはスミカさんの話を聞いて光月博士が考えた仮説です確証は何もありません So, wait, but how? How does the mere desire of wanting to see me again manifest into me in my entire room, literally being created in this world? How the fuck do G bombs work if they can do that? I don't, I don't fucking get it. Also, yeah, what you're saying right now? So you're saying she might not be the causality conductor. It's just a theory. Hang on a second. You just said several other versions of me. I assume the other extra people. Uh, the other extra rats. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, what? But I'm just me. あなたを構成する要素が少しずつ集められたんです。Wait, branches of my world? あなたとスミカさん以外の人が結ばれた世界です。あなたが元の世界の皆さんとの記憶も持っているのはそういうことなんです。<笑> How the hell does that make any sense? 何によってそれらの世界が選ばれたのかはわかりません。未知の現象です。Okay, well, okay, great. You mean Samika's subconscious didn't choose them somehow? Oh, right, probably so. October 22nd. <laughs> that was one fucking hell of a day. That's the day Maya first arrived at my house. So then, that's when everything started to change. Huh? What? A spin? Why? Huh? あなたと結ばれなかった世界のスミカさんが持っているあの日に戻ってやり直せたらという負の思念が世界の数だけその日に集約しているんです。Are they just trying to apply scientific sounding stuff like a spin to this? I I There's so many holes in trying to understand this stupid theory. Oh my goodness. I want to understand it. I do. I'm not even sure it's entirely thought out at this point. Uh, whatever. Just take it as it is, I guess. All this time, we're just trying to understand it. It feels like there's still so much. Huh. <sighs> スミカさんの無意識領域にある独占欲が自分以外の人と結ばれた記憶をこし取ってしまっていたんです。スミカ wanted me all to herself。はい。スミカさんの無意識領域は純粋な分、冷酷にその作業を繰り返してきました。Okay, that's a lot of control for a subconscious mind. 
But the Sumiki I grew up with was never that possessive. Well, here's the thing, um, Daku, if, if you don't remember, um, Sumika had a thing where she definitely, uh, definitely had a tendency that she was possessive, and she only really realized it an extra after the fact, after Maya showed up, right? She just never realized what it was like to share, I guess, what it actually felt like. <laughs> she was definitely possessive, in a sense. Okay, so here's another question. So, if all the previous times, all the different ones in Limited were the same loop, or different loops, then how come this time I woke up with all these memories of stuff that had happened? And all those times, it was... I didn't have any of those memories. I mean, I suppose you could assume, hey, Unlimited's really just the first round, or the first loop, and the remainder of them had played out slightly differently, but ended up going the same basic direction, and eventually became the same thing. But that that's a question, too. Maybe just the last round I actually got further and kept more of my or they were less uh, associated with that or something? Oh my. This whole- oh my. I need to stop asking myself questions, because it feels like they're not intending to answer a lot of them. Mainly because I keep just asking questions I, I'm curious about at the time, and probably go into way more detail than this ever would. Anything ever would, really, in this sort of medium. Blarney media? Wait, what can you see, Olive? I forgot what you said last. Ah, you can see the mm, emotions. Yeah, I know you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah? What about her? Kasumi, are you saying? Sumika-san,そうしたかったんです。真実を知ってから、Sumika-san はとても悩んでいました。自分の浅ましさや、癒しさを嘆き続けていました。Oh god, every goddamn person... Just... is so... I don't know, maybe it's because I don't do this. I don't know if most people are like this, because I... Where, where they just dwell on their regrets over and over. Because, like, for me, I have some things I really regret, sure, in life, but... Most of the time, when I think about them, it's just like, no, I'm not gonna think about it. There's nothing to gain by thinking about that, outside of... I'm going to try not to do stuff like that again, or something like that. Because... All you're doing is wallowing in negativity. That's all you're doing. I... Oh, no. Maybe if you don't have the motivation to try to be better. Without it, I... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, can't, I can't even wrap my head around if this is like how other people tend to think. Maybe I'm some... Uh, anomaly in this. It feels like this entire time, every single person, every single character in this has done this to an, ex an extensive degree. Takeru-chan <laughs> I don't know, I'm not saying it's bad to realize the negative things you've done, or even try to fix them or anything like that. But if... It's the focus on it, I... I know it's easy to... I say I know it's easy, but I, that's exactly what I'm saying, is that I've, I've never found it very difficult to... Not... Dwell on it. I guess I've never... Had depression or anything. Like I, I know it's very hard, and it's... Because it feels more like people are being written like they were depressed all the time. Rather than just... I don't know. I'm gonna stop rambling about that, because... It's, it's this weird just discrepancy between how I see the world... 
and how it seems like every single character in this sees the world in terms or how they tend to think about stuff. Maybe it's just the author's tendency, uh, tendencies coming out and that's why everyone is like that. Maybe that's ultimately what it comes down to. <sighs> she wanted to end everything and not give a choice and make it so that she had the complete control over when it would end, right? Right. Is that why she kept, like, changing her facial expression every time I was talking about the loop at the end, like, last episode? What? Right, of course. この Hey, Kasumi. Hi. The worlds I interfered, uh, interfered with will go back to the way they were, whether I go back or not, right? Hi. Then... Then I still... I have to carry on the fight for everyone else's sake. I have to keep going for the sake of all those who died before me. I have to carry on their legacy with pride. No one remembers if no one remembers them, then they'll really be gone for good. I'm the only one left. They all sacrificed themselves to keep me alive. I can't just run away now. Wait, what about Suzumiya? And the other two? Kazuma. Uniketa. Ah, I'm forgetting her name. <laughs> I and just say, maybe not, but this is where I belong now. No, I get what Taku's doing right now. I learned it. I learned that all too well the last time I ran away. If this world has a chance at a brighter future now, let me fight for it. I want to protect this planet. I, I want to fight for these people. So <sighs> From what? The evils of... The three idiots? Come on. Kiss me. I, I know you can do it. You, you can keep me in this world just like you did during the transfer experiments, right? If my death won't reach that the timeline, then please. Let me die here. In the world where all my comrades died. The world where Smika died. Sumi. So then it's already too late. Maybe, but is it what I want? Alright. Hmm? What? Alright. 
Oh shit, that really was how it went down. I didn't even... So that's what she was trying to say. God, I'm so sorry, Samika. I... I couldn't do anything to help you. I had no idea how much pain and sorrow you were dealing with. And yet you still put on a brave face. You said all that stuff just to keep me from worrying. I know. You Tori, what are you even apologizing for? Samika. If anything, I should be thanking you right now. Thank you, Samika. For everything. I know you might feel like this was all your fault, but I'm glad I came to this world. Plus, if it hadn't been for you, humanity might have been doomed. I'm so, so proud of you. I'm, I'm gonna go back to my world now. So please don't worry about me. You just try to get some rest. You've been through so much. I'm, I'm sure you must be exhausted. But don't worry. No one's gonna disturb your sleep anymore. Thank you for everything. And goodbye, Sumika. Sumika san, totemo yorokonde masu yo. So, oh, she's still here, hanging on. If just by a little bit, then? Is she? Man, you really do know her best. Hi. You really changed, you know that? Shit, Kazumi, if I have to go back, you want to come with me? We can have so much fun together. Extra's so fun. You can be with me in Extra and you can have a new... No, I don't know about actually having her. I, I, I sort of think of her more as a little sister sort of thing. But, oh, we could, we could have just like a family route where it's absolutely not sexual in any way. And we could just be great friends and all that stuff. Let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that, Kasumi. That would, that would be great. Let's do that. You seem a lot more mature now. <laughs> no. Give yourself a little bit of credit. Hmm? Memories? 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 Right, then you know how great Extra was, right? Oh, come on, come on! Sumika-san が残した。あなたへの思い、大切なものがたくさん生き継いでいます。Yeah. Yeah. 
住みかさんから預かった大切な宝物なんです住みかさんは私の中に生きていますあだから安心して戻ってくださいオッケーはいクスミはい Could you lock the hatch for me? Sorry, just. Give me five minutes. Let me just cry for. Five minutes. After that, I'll. I'll, I'll go out there and. I'll be the hero these people have been waiting to see. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Samika.